welcome back guys so day two part two of the individual audio install on the 90 um, planning to strip uh, my 330 of the wiring harness install the new wiring harness but before i do that i will try and lay them both out on the floor to make sure that all the connectors are in the right place and everything lines up and try and make sense of it all to make sure that everything's connected correctly install everything into this uh, then install everything um, into that so the old sound system out of this car into that car and then i will try uh, to get all the trims back in everything nice and sound for um, ready for coding and uh, the same on that one so hopefully i'll be able to skip through a lot of the steps and only cover uh, the important steps in the installation moving forward um, so i'll try and time lapse as much as i can of the work that's repeating uh, from episode one and i'll slow down um, and explain the steps which i find are different and interesting as we go along Okay, so this is what it looks like with both looms out and in comparison. So on the left, you've got the individual audio loom and on the right, you've got the loom that's come out of my car. Now there are quite a few distinct differences. Um, so this is the branch that's running to the amp. Uh, so amp connector, CD changer connector and uh, TV receiver connector, uh, definitely TV because these connectors um, are running directly down from uh, the diversity antenna straight into here. And no issues here. This is the power cable that I was talking about in part one, that I'd need to connect uh, the main power source to this. And so that will need to be modified. These are the connections for the Marfan TCU. So, uh, they're slightly different on my end because I've got Combox so I'll have to move this connector across uh, and figure out which wire is which. I'll then need to move the microphone or rather my microphone for the hands-free was retrofitted it was added on so I'll need to figure out which wire is responsible for the microphone on this branch and uh, trace it to the front of the car to then be able to connect it to the microphone that's in the um, in the roof lining. Um, so that's the microphone side of things. Now moving on to the connectors uh, where the shark fin is. So the shark fin connectors is GPS and those two I believe are for TV signal and those two in the diversity antenna for TV signal. So my car only has these two, uh, GPS and FM AM. So I think I will keep them. Uh, I will add the uh, DAB lead, um, which 
I retrofitted recently uh, along to the sloom and I'll probably remove these two and these two and transfer them onto this loom because they're going back into the car which is retaining the TV function with the base audio system. Now moving on, the rear parcel shelf is fairly straightforward, no issues there. But as you can see there and here, the two looms are substantially different. And that's the individual audio loom and this is the base audio loom out of my 330. So moving to the front, my car being a pre-LCI, base audio cars had subs as well. So it has the sub connectors already, but it doesn't have the rear speaker connectors, which that has. So that's good. That's fairly straightforward, plug and play. There's the sub connector. All fine there as well. Now, this additional box, which I found under the driver's seat or in driver's footwell, which has these things running into it, I think is related to uh, the phone cradle and to the USB and the aux ports, and it can be traced back to the um, center armrest. So that's where they are but I will not be needing them. So what I will need to do is this lead here is a USB lead that runs directly from the USB port along here and into the com box. So I'll have to transfer this lead across and replace these ones here. Now, moving on slightly, this is where I may face a few issues. So, this is my car's old loom with base audio. It has this connector here, which individual audio connector doesn't have. It also has this connector, but the connectors are different. So the wires are the same for the most part. The colors are the same, but this one has two additional wires. So I need to find out what they're for and the connectors are different. So we'll have to cut these, cut these here and switch them around from loom to loom and resolder the connectors and i'll need to figure out uh, what goes into here this might be for the microphone or it might be not i'm not so sure and as far as that's concerned that goes straight into the door and that goes into the terminator and on this side you've got this going to the door this going to the terminator this is uh, i believe from the armrest um, to another little device that's behind the glove box, which my car didn't have, but the individual audio car had, which I'll need to figure out what exactly it is. And that is not there on my car, so I'll also need to figure out what this is for. Now, moving along, onto the main connector for the iDrive system. So, again, they are different. So individual audio connector, base audio connector. So base audio has got the speaker wires running all straight into the back of the head unit where individual audio is just blank in that area. Um, and then you've got standard power cables and uh, GPS and FM AM. So that's also present, GPS, FM AM, that's fine. And here, I think it's the same for the most part, but I'll need to double check that. I think the connectors are mostly similar. Um, now moving on with this loom. So in the base audio car, in the 330i, I had the connector for the iDrive controller running off of this branch here, where on the individual audio car, it's non-existent and there are also these connectors with these wires here which I'll have to find out what they're for. So I'll have to transfer that connector across for the iDrive controller and I'll have to transfer these connectors back to that loom just to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. And then just moving on down the branch, this is the sub-connector, this is the front speaker connector on base audio car 
And on this side, we've got the front speaker connector, unknown connection, which I need to figure out, which isn't on the base audio loom, uh, sub connector and rear speaker connector. So fairly straightforward, other than figuring out where this is. So watch this space. I will try and get my head around this, but it may take a few, few days. So current state of affairs, just coding the individual audio and all the other modules to work with it. Uh, I've completed the wiring loom. I've modified all the connections and everything that was required for my car. And I've got the old base audio loom out of my car, which I still need to modify uh, for the, um, the donor car. So there's a number of wires which came out uh, of the old loom, which weren't necessary for my car. So they're mostly to do with connectivity. Uh, there's microphone connections, there's Bluetooth antenna connections, there's uh, MOF and TCU connections, there's two additional fiber optic loops. Um, there's a couple of uh, antenna connections, there's the TV connections and all this other stuff. So at the moment, I'm just trying to lay everything out um, and sort of compartmentalize it or uh, rather split each branch individually um, while my memory is still fresh how I disconnected everything to try and connect it back up and reassemble it in a way uh, that is going to work with um, with the donor car so I think today we're going to carry on focusing on getting this to work and getting it coded and all set up properly and tomorrow I'll do a little bit more of installation with uh, the door speakers front rears and so on and so forth so yep I'll give you an update shortly and welcome to another day of individual audio installation so I'll give you a situation update. Everything, as far as the loom is concerned, is in. Everything is coded and everything works. So that's the main thing. And now I just want to show you before I start putting everything back, uh, what's actually present within the loom, within the new loom that I've created um, from the two. And what are the vital things to remember if you're doing this upgrade and just, I'll try and explain which wire does what and where does it go. So the original loom with bass audio has audio connections running straight into the back of the CIC or CCC head unit. And this slot here is taken up by the audio connections, uh, which run directly to the speakers. This is not the case with Logic 7 or individual audio. All you have is this fiber optics um, loop here, uh, which transmits the data uh, to the amplifier and then the amplifier sends the sound to each individual speaker. So as far as this main connector to the CIC is concerned, it's very simple and straightforward. You have uh, these two wires here, which is a CAN interface, high and low. You have this gray red wire, which I believe is the ignition wire, red brown wires, which is power and earth or ground, and this black wire, I couldn't tell you what it is. I think it's something to do with a ground as well um, or something to do with the interface of the actual um, i drive and the controller or something like that but anyway it's it was there it's constant in previous loom and in this loom so it just remained and it stayed there so this loom runs down here and underneath here and there it is there and in here it splits into three so it splits into this branch here, which is the controller. And it splits into another branch that runs across the transmission tunnel uh, to the sub, to the door speaker, and to the front door speaker. So rear door speaker, front door speaker. So one, two, sub is three, and that's it. That's all you've got on that side, as far as this car is concerned. Uh, now, just coming back a little bit, um, the old loom, so the loom that came out of my car, had the connection for the iDrive controller on it. 
uh, the individual audio loom from the donor card didn't so I had to transfer this wire across and uh, with this it's really quite simple as well so you've got the CAN interface same as um, the head unit so this just taps into any CAN uh, interface that you see anywhere so you can go directly into there or into there in in my case I actually caught it somewhere down there because it's all on one loom and then you just tap this, these two wires into the loom somewhere here I think I made the joining somewhere in this area here uh, then you have I believe the ignition wire which is red white and the ground which is brown which is uh, any ground so you can literally ground it on this bolt if you wanted to um, or pick up any brown anywhere so we've picked it up somewhere here along this line and the red white was on that connector which my loom had which the donor loom didn't have on that connector there which only has two wires um, on it that little connector there so this connector has red black and red white so red white goes straight to the controller and red black mm. runs all the way to the back to power the cd changer uh, we then spoke about moving this big block of block connection block across uh, because it was different uh, on the new loom versus the old loom uh, which we did so i literally just chopped the wires moved everything across which was necessary and these wires are can interface ignition wire and the main power wire for the i drive for the cic mm. ccc head units so it runs along here up here into there and right into the back here so it comes up here so it's really quite straightforward it's just those wires on there now moving on uh, i might as well cover all the connections while i'm here so uh, fm am connection uh, DAB connection. The cables are actually the same for GPS, DAB, FM and AM and TV signal. They're all the same. The only difference is uh, are the actual connectors and the color coding on the connectors. They have uh, idiot proofing so you can't mix and match them. But if you could find one of these wires you can actually take the connector off and still use the wire. Um, so if you were looking to upgrade to a DAB system and your card didn't have DAB and you couldn't find a DAB specific connector you don't need to use one. You just need any E9X, E8X um, aerial connector, which is about five meters long, and you can use that to connect into any of these connection points. So GPS, TV signal, uh, DAB, FM, AM. Uh, screen connector and USB interface that's in the glove box for your map updates and for you to copy music onto the hard drive in the CIC. And I think that's about it. So those wires run in parallel along this branch here there they are they get picked up and they're in there and i've tried my best to tuck everything away in the OEM way um, now that's the main car's loom which we didn't touch and this here is the new loom so that's what comes out of here and in here you have mostly so these twisted cables are the ones running from the amp to each individual speaker and to the amp so they're quite clear to tell which one is which you've got the fiber optics and you have the connections for the aerials as well as a microphone connection so because my car didn't have a microphone connection uh, we run the wires directly from the microphone here uh, along here into there straight down and it's somewhere in there so one of these wires is microphone connection and it goes straight into the com box now Moving on to the back, when you get to this point, this is where the loops for the fiber optics are. And uh, this is where you have the, the four-way split. You've got the main loom coming in and then it goes up that way and there, uh, that way to the CD changer and the amp, which is underneath the CD changer and down that way to the com box. So super simple on the com box side of things. With the com box you have three cables for the microphone which are those three cables there and they're all nicely in one little isolated branch like this you have a ground and you have power and that's literally it what you have going to the blue connector 
you've got the fiber optics loop because that's the communication system and you have on this side the usb cable and on this side the antenna for the bluetooth devices so the usb cable is routed this way along here up into there through this main loom back under the passenger seat and up this way there it is here along with the connector for the controller and it comes out here there's your armrest usb now carrying on um what's going up are the speaker connectors and the two aerials uh it should be three aerials where's the third one there's the third one so dab uh, am fm radio and gps so they run up into there and dab and fm am go to diversity and gps goes to shark fin which is just further up somewhere around here just behind there nice and simple then you have this wire here which is in a way completely independent so that's the connection for the third brake light and it's just two little wires running from here right down into there usually it's taped to the main loom but since i've disconnected everything i was able to separate it and then i later on attached it to uh, the aerials and tucked everything away here and then moving on to these wires here so you have the parcel shelf wires parcel shelf speakers that are left and the right and this here is actually for my electric rear blind which i'm in process of retrofitting and on which i'll do a complete episode um, but I don't want to cover it in this video because it requires a different junction box uh, which I ordered but it didn't work so um, I wasn't able to do anything on that but I'll do a separate episode on that so don't worry about it um, and last but not least are the connections over there so you have the grounding points here so the grounding block and all the necessary grounds sort of running along to there and then you have another one at the back um, then you've also got the CD changer connections and the amplifier connections. Let me walk around the other side and I'll talk you through it. So as far as the CD, CD changer is concerned, you have one small power cable and one small ground cable and a fiber optics loop. And that's all it takes for the CD changer to run. And then the amplifier is just underneath there for the individual audio. And what you've got is the fiber optics loop, the main power cable, the ground cable, and all the speaker wires and the sub wires. Uh, the main power cable, I was able to use the original uh, power cable, which was spliced into the um, main loom on the donor car. So I completely removed it and separated it. And I ran it into the uh, appropriate place all the way at the front into the back of the fuse box and I have a dedicated fuse for it. It's a 40 amp fuse for the individual audio. Uh, Logic 7 uses a 30, I believe. Um, it's one of these fuses here. I couldn't tell you off by heart which one it is, but the cable is right there. So it runs all the way along this wiring loom. And you can see it here. And this here is the junction box, JBE. So I retained the original one for the time being until I can source the correct one that will allow me to use the electric rear blind. But for now, uh, it's okay. Blind doesn't work, but it will eventually. So I think I'll skip through some of the steps moving forward. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try and finish everything off on the inside. So box all of this off, um, put the seats back in, put the covers back in. Uh, clean the carpets, um, assemble the back end, assemble the connectors going to the rear doors. And then the final bit that I'm gonna have left to do is to actually replace uh, the door panels, the door trims, put the speakers into them. Um, and on the rear doors, I will need to replace the entire door looms. So I've got the looms uh, out there somewhere, along with the old wiring looms, I think somewhere there but um, I'll need to replace them in the rear doors. The front door looms are actually the same. So um, the way it works is you replace the speakers, you put the tweeters in and the tweeters actually connect to the speakers, and, but there isn't already, already a branch uh, in the wiring harness to the front doors. What I'll have to do is just connect um, 
the newly installed harness into the connector on the inside and sort of mate it in the door.